warriors. We have a, a sense that there needs to be something said about warriors, especially in this day and time. You have wars and battles, and they have been going on from the beginning of time, have they not? Where you've always thought you had to fight to get what you wanted. What we were going to propose to you is going to be a little unsettling, we propose. Even we hope. <laughs> we wish to give you something to think about, something a little different. And through this series of things that we're presenting to you, the whole idea is just to get you to think, not necessarily to agree, but to have you have a running mental debate with yourself about whether or not this is possible, whether it's feasible, whether it is real, or whether the whole thing is, is just something made up. Now, this information that you are receiving, we propose to you is coming from a, as you would call it, an unconscious side. And the idea that you have to be a warrior is one of the things that is very disturbing. Now, we recognize that there are certain things that you recognize as a spiritual warrior. You think you are here and you have to battle yourself. Good versus evil, I think, is the way it's said, is it not? And you take it literally. But we have to tell you this battle of good and evil is something that you do internally. This is all about you, about how you evolve, how you feel, how your emotions are. Warrior energy. It is very protective. It has been given the significance, at least on this physical plane, that is necessary in order to survive, in order to uh, not be slaves, not be slain. You have to be a warrior, you have to be aggressive. Proactive, I think, is the word you'd like to use as a, opposed to defensive or something of this nature. Now, recognize that there has never been a warrior society that has lasted any length of time. They are due for self-destruction. It is <clears throat> a bit of karma, if you will. Whatever you put out comes back to you. What if there was another method? What if you tried love and allowance? What if you trusted your neighbor's societies? What if you chose not to do battle, but rather to love and honor those, to support them? For the most part, you only are defensive if you feel threatened. You only go on the attack if you think it's necessary. If somebody does not pose a threat to you, then you simply do not concern yourself with them. But the moment you become aggressive or warrior-like, there is an opposition, usually with equal force. Take it on a personal level. If you were kind and loving and considerate to someone else, then it comes back. You create a good friend. You create a relationship that's worthwhile. But if you are aggressive, if you were warrior-like, then everyone you meet is going to return that favor to you. What you put out, you get back, not just on a physical plane on an individual basis, but on the whole of society. Now, we're proposing to you that most of the people, as you would call them, humans, that are on this American plane or this United States, it is most curious. You like to think of the United States as all of America, do you not? <laughs> when in reality, you have two separate bodies, North and South America, and you occupy not the totality of either of those. Yet you are considered to be the policeman of the world. How is it going? How is your country faring? How is your pocketbook, your financial pocketbook? Do you recognize that you have spent yourself into quite a debt simply by trying to be protective and protect everyone else? And anytime there's a little bit of scrimmage someplace else in the world, you think you have to go over and uh, regulate it at the very least. 
And usually you wind up taking sides and decide this is the one that's right and this one's the one that's wrong. Warrior energies. That was a lesson that you have never learned from. We propose to you that the ones that are here in this United States now are the same ones that were in Atlantis when it was destroyed, the same ones that were in Egypt when it ceased to be, at least this greater time, in Greece at its highlight and then its fall, in Rome and its fall. Now you are here in this United States and you're still the same warrior energy, most of you. Now, if we're stepping on toes, it's intentional. <laughs> what we wish to do is, is to open your eyes to another possibility. What if you laid your swords down? What if the whole idea was to be kind and compassionate and loving? It is much less expensive, much less dramatic to love somebody and support them than it is to bomb them, to kill them, to finance your war effort. And it is all ongoing. Your whole world in this time and space is all about being proactive, being in control of everything that is happening. Your governments, your president, even your local law enforcement is all about warrior energy. You never try the other simply because you think it's a sign of weakness. We propose to you that being less than that, being a lover, being kind and gentle and allowing is a much greater challenge. In order to do that, you have to put yourself at risk just a little. You're in a time and space when this question is about to reappear. The beginning of a brand new world. This end of times in 2012 this is what it is. It is a crossing over, it is a change of the way you do business, if you will. So recognize that being a warrior, while it is accepted, and we're not saying that there is anything wrong necessarily with those that are serving and doing their duty to their country simply because they feel obligated to it, but what we're suggesting to you, mass consciousness needs a little bit of Attitude adjustment, does it not? It needs to try this, at least. The few countries that you have in your world that are peaceful have a much better standard of living than you, are much more knowledgeable, much more allowing, much less dramatic. They do not get pulled into these <laughs> things that spend all of your money and kill all of your young people. So you are here as a warrior in warrior energies. You have decided to incarnate into this that you call the United States because you have a purpose and an intent of being here. Is it to be a peace, calm, loving entity? Or are you here to maintain this warrior energies? All of you are part of this, this mass consciousness. You even have one vote. Do you not recognize that? You have a say, but what we have to tell you, you have not to do that even. Simply be kind, loving, and you have accomplished exactly what you're here to do. So, is your purpose to be a spiritual warrior or warrior period? Or can you allow something much greater? Can you trust enough to think that and know that you will survive much better by being loving. We are Alexander.